All right, welcome to my video. My name is Echojin. So in this video, we'll go over the first year anniversary daily event. When you first log in, you'll have a message you need to read. So just click on it, and once you finish reading it, that starts your daily. So the daily requires you to pick up these chi items from three uh, locations. The first location is Plague Hollow. Uh, the second one will be in Croker's Lagoon, and the last one's in Dream Rift. So uh, Plague Hollow is just north of Jade Stone here. So let's go inside. And you just have to kill the bosses, so you can skip all these mobs. So right there, that's the one chi item. So the second one is in... Right there, Lagoon. So teleport to here. Well, wind stride, not teleport. So in Croker's Lagoon, you have to kill the zone boss to get the chi from him. Oh, there he is right there. And you just have to tag it to get credit. Alright, so the last one is now in Dream Rift. So that is right here at Tanjay Kelms. So went straight to that location. Alright, once you're here, you want to head west towards the Dream Rift. And this is the final location you need to head to in order to finish this daily. Remember that this daily can only be completed once a day. But you can do it on your other uh, alternate characters if you'd like as well to collect the coins. So these mobs here will drop one of the cheese. Once that's done, you need to head to the back and find the boss spirit as he will drop the final one. Oh, they're still chasing me, aren't they? Yep. So he's to kill those two mobs to activate the spirit. And once he's dead, there's the chi. So now we need to go back to Jade Stone Village.
right, so you have to head to the Earthseer's Cauldron to do this. So right here, just hold F, or press F. Talk to him, and that's it. So you get your one coin, and you get the first anniversary pouch. So from the pouch, so there's an energy chance that you will get another coin, as long as you know getting a sealed uh, forge, uh, sealed forging orb, and some other goodies as well. So this coin right here, you need that to trade it into the event for some goodies. And there's quite some amazing goodies here. So first of all, the flawless uh, sparkling diamond here, you know, 35 AP. Uh, forging orbs, sacred oils, uh, new outfit. This is what the outfit looks like. And I'll show off what it looks like on males as well. Uh, Titan skin, flower of lament, uh, legendary gem hammer, mysterious crystals, and then you know your experience charms and tablets, all that good stuff. And this thing too, your Ha Moon instant revival charm. So in order to get coins. Uh, so you get one from the daily, and then you also get uh, some from your daily dash as well. So for completing the daily dash, you get 20 coins. If you're lucky enough, you'll land on the first anniversary pouch, so there's a chance that you'll get some from there as well. Uh, completing the daily challenge will also net you some coins. So you get three coins during the weekdays, and on, a week, on the weekends you get bonus. So I believe you get five on the weekends for completing the daily challenge. And then you also get some coins for doing the heroic dungeons as well, just for the dailies though. So for example, Gloom Dross, you get two for completing it. And Shattered Mash, you get two. Uh, you don't get any in lab because it's not a Silver Frost heroic dungeon. So only Silver Frost heroic dungeons and up, you will get them. You know, Shogun, you'll get that, you'll get two from there. Uh, Yeti, you just get one. And Necro, you get one. Uh, Lair, you get one. Nexus, you get two. And so forth. So for uh, Cold Storage and Heaven's Mandate, you don't get one from the daily for completing that dungeon, but you do get one each time you do the dynamic. So you get one from each dynamic. So you, you could essentially spam cold storage if you wanted to to get the experience and the coins as well. So uh, don't forget that this event is only available from January 18th to February 8th. Uh, once that ends, you can no longer get the coins, but you can still, uh, you still have the coins for a certain period after that to um, redeem your uh, rewards for what you want to get. So uh, don't forget as well, for the transmute, you can actually transmute a flawless, brilliant Hong Moon, just kind of like the uh, Peridot here for the previous event. So it only takes one flawless, and you need 240 coins to create a uh, flawless, brilliant heptagonal. So if you already have a uh, flawless, then you're, you're pretty much good. You know, you only need just one of that instead of having to, you know, transmute three of them to create a flawless. You only have to have just one and then you can create your brilliance. So, anyway, thank you for watching my video. Hope that helped.